This is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. Repeat, this is not a test. Stay tuned for further instructions. That's faith right there, baby. We love you. Let's roll. Greetings, Revival Tabernacle YouTube. This is Josh Herring. Just wanted to bring you a little devotional today about the joy of the Lord and how essential it is for your life and how you need it on a daily basis. The Bible says in Nehemiah 8 verse 10 that the joy of the Lord is your strength. And so there's something about having strength in your daily walk with God, your daily walk in this world. Uh, the Bible says, as thy days, so shall thy strength be. But if you do not feel like you're having any strength through what you're fighting, maybe the prayer that you're praying is wrong. Maybe instead of asking God for strength, you should be asking God for joy. The Bible says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. And so if you're finding that you're not strong in situations, you're not strong against temptation, you're not strong against the things that the devil's attacking you with, or maybe you don't feel mentally strong or spiritually strong, perhaps you need to pray for more joy. Because the joy or the gladness of the Lord, it brings strength. It's the second fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace. There's something about having joy in your life that gives you strength. Laughter is medicine for your body. What does that mean? Laughter makes you stronger. It gets you better. And so there's something about having the joy of the Lord that no matter what's going on around you, you can smile and say, God is still good and I am still blessed to be where I am. I think of Paul when standing before King Agrippa in chains. He said, I think myself happy. I, uh, I know I'm physically beat up on the outside, but I've won the battle in my mind and I've got joy so I can go through anything. It was also Paul that said, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. It's amazing how in prison he could sing and pray into the Lord and earthquakes would take place because he knew if you get joy, you get strength. And if you get strength, you win the battle that day. And I want you to encourage, I want to encourage you to smile more and to laugh more and to pray for the Lord to give you your joy back. If you're feeling depressed and discouraged and anxiety and defeated and you feel like I can't, I can't win this battle, I want you to start praying a simple prayer. Lord, restore my joy. Restore the joy that you had given me years ago. And there's something amazing about knowing that the strength of the Lord comes through the joy of the Lord. And so as you feel stronger and stronger, you'll be happier and happier because the joy of the Lord truly is your strength. And if you feel like you can't do it and the enemy has taken you down completely, maybe just that simple prayer of Lord, restore my joy. That's all you need to get back up on your feet and fight one more day. Joy is mentioned 133 times in your Bible for a reason. It's there over and over and over. Why don't you ask the Lord today, give me some joy back. Because the last thing hell wants to do in this battle is to see you wake up with a smile on your face. Because the more you smile, the stronger you're going to get. I challenge you, get up from the bed of discouragement, from the pit of depression, and from the cave of anxiety, and put a smile on your face and say, Though he slay me, yet shall I trust him. And I have joy today, and the joy of the Lord is my strength. Let's roll.